All right, so my name is Jeremy Dixon, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a complete smart lead tutorial from A to Z, everything you need to know. My agency uses smart lead exclusively. Uh, in the past, you know, five months, we've used smart lead to make, you know, well over $100,000. And we currently manage about 11 or 1200 email accounts on there. So in this video, I'm just gonna go over everything you need to know to use smart lead to, you know, run email campaigns for your own business. So kind of to just start it off, let's just go over a question that I'm always asked, a uh, smart lead versus instant. What do I say? I mean, personally, let's just check out, you know, the pricing of both. So smart lead for their biggest plan is $94 or, you know, their pro plan, $94. And then instantly their plan is $97 a month. So very, very similar on pricing. You know, to be honest, what I say is if you're using Smart Leader instantly for your own business, then there's no real discernible difference. If you're doing lead generation for clients, that's when I say use Smart Lead. And I would say that every single time, right? So I've been using Smart Lead for well over a year now. Once I figured out, you know, that Smart Lead was built just for agencies, you know, to do cold outreach for their clients. That's when I switched over and instantly slowly started, you know, catching up to the features that Smart Lead had over this past year or so that I've been using it. But, you know, if you're using it just for yourself, for your own business, it doesn't truly matter. Just get outreach up and running. All right. So let's log into Smart Lead and kind of go over everything. So one of the first things I'll say let's go over is just adding an email account to your smart lead account. So to do that, you're just simply going to go here at email account. If you have a bunch to add, you can do that in bulk. If you need to use OAuth to add it or app password to add it, I would recommend using OAuth though. Uh, so let me just quickly go over that. So really all you're going to need to do, I'm going to copy this. Uh, you're going to head over to the admin panel. All right, let's log in here. Okay, so we see Smart Leads already added here, but what you're gonna do is, if it wasn't added, just press Add App, OAuth App Name. I already copied it, but let's just go back. So copy this client, go here, add it in there, and press Search, and then Smart Lead will come up, so then you just select it and accept everything. So if you're doing this one by one, this is what you would do. What I would recommend is that you don't do this one by one and you have somebody else set it up for you. That's what we do. Uh, what we do is we use resellers and then we have them set it up for us. So we pay less than the you know stated price for the email. And then they also set it up, connect it to our smart lead account, and do all that for us. Uh, if you want info on that, click the link down below and you can join the group and you can get access to you know the resellers that we use and kind of most of the resources that we use. But yeah, so that's how you connect an email account. So go there. Uh, one thing I wanted to just note about your email account. So as you see the daily limit. So when you first connect an email account to Smartly, the daily limit will be 200. The warm up will be off generally and the reputation will look just like this. So what you want to do is go to edit. And I'll also say if you're, you know, since we have all these email accounts that need to be edited, what you want to do is scroll down. And unfortunately, you have to do it this way, but scroll down until you get all the accounts that you want to edit at once. So let's say that's all I want to do. I'll press that. Now it's got, you know, what did it say? 150 something accounts there. So I'd go to bulk edit, then general messages per day. I like to keep this at a maximum of 30 per day, just in case I accidentally put emails in multiple different campaigns. This will make sure that this email account does not send more than 30 messages per day. I like to add a gap here of at least 14 minutes and then custom tracking domain. It just depends on, uh, you know, kind of what you want to do, but we don't track our opens at all. So we don't need to set up a custom tracking domain. I'd also, you know, recommend you don't track the opens because that is going to mess with the deliverability and we'll go over that in a bit. But all right, then I could press save here, but then also the warm up. So generally I'll enable the bulk warm up, turn the warm up to 30 emails per day, and then put this to 25 to 35. I like to disable this personally. 
turn this to 35 and then that's that's it i'll press save there and then all these will change see so boom so now everything is getting started all right so setting up a new campaign we're going to go to press campaign here uh you're going to first need to add a lead list so let me just go grab a lead list all right so let me upload the lead list here so here we go so when it comes to these settings, so you generally don't want to press these, like, you know, why would you want to import the leads that are on a global block list or import leads that are on unsubscribe lists? You might want to ignore leads that exist in other campaigns, though. That just depends on the type of lead generation you're doing. So I'm just going to leave all these unchecked and press save. Uh, so depending as well, if you have this, doing this for a client or yourself, you have client ID, and then all these, you can just map the field. So first name, company name, uh, email. There we go. Save and next. Oh, then they also just added this uh, lead uh, list verification. They just added this, I believe, a couple of days ago. I've never used it yet. So if you feel like using that, you can do that. But generally what we'll do is we'll clean our list before we upload it to Smart Lead. And if you want to check out how to do that, I have a video. I'll edit over here. All right, so skip and proceed. And then just a couple things uh, when it comes to starting off your campaign. So I have a full video going over me setting up a smart lead campaign from start to finish. You can check out that video here. Uh, but just a couple things to note is that when it comes to you know deliverability and making sure your emails don't go to spam, a couple things you want to do is make sure that you're using syntax in your emails. And a quick example of that will just be, you know, starting off the email, hey, hello. And then I'm adding, as you see, this between each word, hey, hello, hi. And then the variable first name. So what that'll do, if I go, and I'll actually I'll put that in the subject line as well. So what that'll do, if I press save and next, let me just show you. And then also let me add a couple email accounts, schedule the campaign. You'll do that here as well. So you'll select your time zone. We'll just select a random one. The time and email will be sent every X amount of minutes. You can also set the campaign date. So if you wanted to start a different day or time, you can do that here. Then number of leads per day. I recommend no more than 25 emails per sending account. So. For this, if it was 100 emails per day, you need at least four sending accounts. So realistically, just do the math on how many sending accounts you have. That's how many emails you can send per day. Let me actually just schedule this for tomorrow so this doesn't actually start right now. Okay, cool. So let's go to next. So now you'll see this. Okay, I need to add this here. And this is also very important. I'm glad that we're doing this live. So as you see this, would look bad if this was sent, but you always want to check your emails before they go out. So uh, what we're going to do is just add this other uh, bracket here, and then this will dynamically change what the emails say. So now it says, hey, Eduardo, and this one says, hello. This one says, hi, right? And it's going to keep changing each time. And then let's add that here as well. So the same thing will happen. This will be changing each time. Right. So when it comes to what to actually say in your email, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to also have down below my golden email template. You know, you just you can really just use this template for any niche that you're in and just modify it for, you know, for your niche. So let me just kind of pull up what it looks like here as well. All right. So this will be the email template. Uh, and you can, like I said, you can get it, you can grab us at the link down below. So I was reaching out because we help whatever niche get X outcome or result. We helped this client get this result in this time frame using, you know, this unique mechanism. Can I send you a video that goes over it? Would it be okay if I send a video or would it be okay if I send some more information? Really simple, direct, to the point. If they're interested, they'll reply. If they're not interested, they won't reply. And it's really that simple. That's how you want to keep it with your emails. So let's just take this, put it in here. All right. So it'll obviously, like I said, you know, you're going to fill it out just based off your niche and what exactly it is you're offering. Uh, but really simple. 
on how to set up set up the campaign. And then another thing that you want to check out is the campaign settings before you actually launch this. So you want to keep this the same. Stop sending messages when your lead replies to a message. And then you want to enable these. So what we shouldn't track, that's do not track the opens, do not track clicks, boost your deliverability by sending emails and plain text, and then prioritize sending patterns. So if you have multiple follow-up emails or even just one follow-up email, you wanna have you wanna switch this. I generally like to keep it at 30%. So let's say it has a thousand new leads. It'll keep reaching out to 70% new leads every day instead of reaching out to 100%, you know, follow-ups every day because that will just make, I mean, basically you just you just want more leads per day to be reached out to instead of the follow-ups being the, the, the highest priority because you're going to get the most replies on your first email anyway. So that's just how I like to keep my settings. And then the rest of these you can pretty much just leave the same. Uh, you can have smart lead categorized replies for you, but you know, I, I'd say just leave it all the same, keep it all here, save the settings. And then from here, you can schedule the campaign. Next thing is while you're managing your campaigns, you're gonna need to do things such as adding leads to the block list. Um, so let's just go over that quickly because as you start sending out, you know, hundreds or thousands of emails, there's gonna be multiple, multiple people saying unsubscribe and you don't wanna keep emailing those people over and over if they're not interested. All right, so for this email, for example, let's say we want to add this lead to the block list. You can do that here. You can also do that here. Do Mark the lead as do not contact. And it'll add you, ask you, do you want to block the entire domain associated with this lead or just, you know, if it's for a client, have it just blocked for the client. So what I generally like to do is block the entire domain if they send something you know, where they're clearly saying, don't ever contact this company again, uh, but it's just up to you. But if you're doing cold email at scale, you want to make sure you keep up with your do not contact list, right? So, all right. So the next thing I want to go over is your untracked reply. So in your untracked replies, uh, you can oftentimes find emails and leads that you you would have you would have missed. I mean, I can tell you, for a fact, in the last two months, we've probably found about 25 plus leads that we missed in our untracked replies, right? So here, I'm just bringing this up. You just want to go through all the messages. It takes time, it takes a while, but it's worth it when there's leads that are replying and you otherwise would have missed them. So always go through the untracked replies, either do it daily or weekly, et cetera. All right, so next thing I wanna go over is how to set up Slack notifications. I feel like this is important and it's helpful for people that are, you know, they use Slack as their base. Uh, so we get all, a lot of our notifications inside of Slack. Let me just show you what I mean by that. So this, re this is really helpful for us and keeps the whole team like, you know, notified about what's going on. So Smartly makes it really easy. Now they have this Slack integration, like native integration. So what we use it for is it'll let us, like whenever a lead is marked as interested, we get this notification. And we also have it set up for every single reply that comes in, we get these notifications as well, right? So to set that up, you can, you go, you go to webhooks. Uh, so you go to settings, and then webhook, and then you press Slack. Let's create a Slack webhook. All right, let's choose a channel, add incoming webhook integration, and you're gonna grab the webhook URL, paste that over to Smart Lead, and then you're gonna assign what you want this webhook to do or what you want it to say. So let's say I want it to uh, let me know whenever a lead is marked as interested or I want to know whenever an email is replied to without me having to leave Slack. So let's just do that. Email reply, let's press add, uh, sorry. And let's also select, for me, I'm gonna select the client, add it to myself. And then so now whenever an email is replied to, I'm gonna get a notification in Slack. All right, and so now the leads are coming in through, the email replies are coming in through this channel. Uh, so we can just update this and save it. 
And now all of the replies for this client will come into this channel. Um, and I don't even have to log into Smartly to see the leads that come in. All right, so that's, that's really it for this Smartly tutorial. Uh, if you need help setting any of this up, feel free to schedule a time down below. If you'd like to uh, join my outreach group as well, you can get the link down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.